Uh, the next act I'm going to bring to the stage, uh, I, I never worked with him before. Uh, I know nothing about him, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't either. Uh, you might recognize him from the brawny commercials. <laughs> for Dan St. Bernard. <laughs> Ranch, you're giving me shit. You look like Master Splinter auditioning for Grease all the time. I'm so glad you can make <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I'm so glad Rich Voss could make it here. Usually at this time, he's hanging around the abandoned set of Tough Crowd wearing his high school leather jacket. <laughs> hoping that Colin's gonna call him again and they're gonna bring the band back together. <laughs> Who the fuck is this kid? I'll tell you, somewhat relevant. seen you, buddy. You're fucking, you have the energy of the Terry Schiavo of stand-up. It takes you longer into a punchline than it does Stephen Hawking to get through a Zumba course. I'm waiting for Rich to pull the plug, but he doesn't know how a plug works. Give it up for the owners of the stand for throwing this thing. You guys all like a Chinese buffet, fuck the clubs. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I don't understand why you, you guys call yourself like cringe humor, like you're these like edgy fucking people. The only thing cringe about you guys is when Paul Verzi asks for the leftover hamburger meat at the end of the night to feed his family. <laughs> is Paul here? <laughs> I got nowhere else to go, bro. Of course. <laughs> They feed me, they touch me, it's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Nikki Glazer didn't fucking show up. She's getting... You're going to really have to start to have using her pussy as a credit at this point in your career. <laughs> and what, your posture is so bad. You, you sit like you just heard about Sandy Hook all the time. <laughs> all the time. It's unbelievable. It's the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen. Mark Norman isn't here either. either. Uh, I can't even say this. Uh, Kurt Metzger's here. Kurt, just be <laughs> Kurt, just because I'm so terrified of you still. Even with this, even with this, he's the most terrifying person in stand-up. Uh, Kurt, just because 20 Juggalos like something on Facebook doesn't mean it's good. Okay? <laughs> Fucking angry mayor of the internet. <laughs> You're one of the best comics. You are one of the best comics in New York with an act that inspires young comedians to write jokes and a personality that inspires African warlords to train child soldiers. <laughs> You're the only guy to make Lindy West likable. <laughs> after casting you, Comedy Central thought after casting you, Comedy Central thought of changing the name to Ugly on the Inside Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Joe DeRosa, everybody, our man of the hour. Yeah. First, I want to I want to I want to congratulate you on making it on Variety's top ten comics to twenty four hour suicide watch. <laughs> <laughs> As well as your second half hour special, or as Comedy Central would like to call it, it 15 years in and still not ready for an hour. <laughs> you're, the, you're the Michael Jordan of feeling sorry for yourself, and industry is the Michael Jordan of not giving a shit about you. <laughs> Joe's tattoos look like pog art, or the paintings a mommy gorilla makes at a zoo after losing a child. You've, you've got the face of sick E.T., the arms of Callista Flockhart, and the torso of a melted Yankee candle. Joe's, jo, Joe's spirit animal is a 13-year-old girl with an eating disorder. Your arms are so flabby, I figured they'd be more toned from carrying Bill Bird's luggage through customs. <laughs> I guess Verzi still does it without complaining. <laughs> That's all I got, bro. Uh, Bobby Kelly and Bill Bird couldn't be here, 
here because they were busy doing, well, anything else. Uh, anything else. They DVR'd The Good Wife. Uh, and AA, if you drink after hanging out with Joe DeRosa, it's technically considered a pass. <laughs> His closer isn't a, isn't a joke, just the shoulder shrug you see three-fourths into his set when you realize he's given up. Uh, guys, but seriously, I love Joe DeRosa. He's been nice to me since I started. He's one of the funniest guys I know and one of my best friends in comedy. I love this guy. Holy shit, that's what you get when you, when you prepare. Yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, that was fucking... That was you, really funny. Uh, of course it was fucking funny. It's about you. How can you not be fucking funny? <laughs>